Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Athena Games. You're listening to uh, Elliot Baker, as I've got joining me in the booth today, Darren Chapman, our current tankard holder, as I move on to the booth cam, so you can actually see that he is uh, he is actually Doing drinking. <laughs> Evening. Oh. <laughs> He's drinking from it. Maybe well, you've got it, use it. Uh, fair enough. And of course, for the first time ever in the booth, we have Mr. Sean Riley. Hello, and good evening. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a tri- a trifecta tonight. Um, good job. Hello, Terry. So Terry has joined us in the chat. If you're in the chat, be sure to put a message to let us know that you're watching and what you think. And we've got a, I would say, well, it's an interesting game, but it's a different kind of game tonight. Uh, we have uh, a, a lover's spat, as it were, I think it is. <laughs> uh, or it could turn into one. It could, it could turn into one as well. We have uh, David Lincoln versus his other half, Chelsea. Um, and, that's, and the overlay's already been finished, so we can move him instantly onto it. And now we see them both starting, or at least getting set up, since they were slightly delayed. Um, so, what list do we have? We have. Uh, do you want to take us through what David's running, Sean? Me? I can't... This David's list here, Janals in a Hawk, with Trick Shot, Twin Laser Turret. That's always a good combo, I think. Oh, as always, yes. Recon Specialist and the Mouldy Crow. Of course, the Hawk can't leave home without the Mouldy Crow, can it? <laughs> well, it's an unusual choice, because you usually see that on um, Kyle, not really on Jan. I mean, it it I really it goes with the TLT, on. though, doesn't it? It yeah. does go with the TLT, especially with the Recon Specialist on board. He's getting two focuses, and if he uses one... Then Brunette, if he doesn't, he banks it. I, I do think that's going to be a bit overkill. Yeah, recon specialist as well. Thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, just just knocking around for a couple, just knocking around for a couple of turns at the start of the game. You'll have more than enough. I don't you know will. Yeah, it's too many though. Mm. I, never know. I don't think you would ever have too many focus <laughs> tokens. Really, I mean, in the, um, if it was Kyle and you'll pass them out, then I can understand it. But Jan is going to find a, a big surplus of tokens left over. I think. And with her, she's I got Ray. Got Ray in the thirteen hundred, with. I think a few bits we've seen before. Expertise, Canon Jarris, Canon, Canon, Canon Jarris. Finn is always Ray's best friend. Indeed. Seng- Signals loop on the Falcon, smuggling, up, smuggling compartment, a scavenger track crane, and countermeasures. Okay. This is off. Lost the ability it, to talk. It's pretty much the standard Ray style build, really. You've got Kane and Jarris to remove the, the 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 stress you gain from the Signors. You have Finn to give you an extra dice, which of course you can get an extra one from Jan as well. That's a six attack dice oh, potentially yeah. ship coming up here at range one. That, um, yeah, that could be a big hammer that one. Oh, it? indeed, especially with expertise, you don't need uh, conversions. And if you've got them in arc anyway, then that's your two blank re rolls. Mm, Scavenger Crane is a new one on this. I'm. For the countermeasures, yes, but in this matchup, I think that's a that's a wasted five yeah, points it's, it's, sitting mm. there. I need countermeasures a lot, perhaps. Yeah, and you're lacking quality on those dice as well. Mm. Uh, I mean, yes, Ray can re-roll them, but hoping then again, she's probably taking a focus for most actions. But actually, no, because we want a target lock for the re-rolls. That is correct, and the countermeasures is far more effective when used with higher gr- numbers of green dice. When you use it with one, yes, you're getting two dice. Big whoop. But as you go up incrementally, if you get to two dice, an extra third green dice is so much more valuable. The fourth green dice, more valuable still. Mm. And if, it makes me wonder if five. Wow. It makes me wonder if this worth taking scavenger. Crane. I don't think so. I think it's more useful on a missile build than this well, particular one. I was thinking. That's what we're thinking. Is it worth taking countermeasures scavenger crane on something like um, IGs? That give you five defense dice. Just yeah. thinking, just as on, a theory on, on the one shot, might give you enough time just to take out that missile carrier mm. before it can fire again. Uh. I'm not a great believer in counter measures. I prefer uh, a stealth device. It has more more uses. A little bit of luck involved, obviously, to keep it. But I think I think it's worth the three points more than counter measures. I, had, right. I had an unpleasant encounter with counter measures and glitzed last week. When three of my guys descended upon a Sarge, I think it was. Uh, I was expecting a lot of damage, but countermeasures on glitzed in, I ended up putting one damage through on him. And this is Ben, Zuckus, and Fweek all at range one. Ouch. I was, I was expecting, I, I didn't think I was going to kill the Lancer, but I was expecting mm. it to be in a mess by the time I'd finished. No, but I think I think he bounced nearly everything. If someone pops the countermeasures, it's a it's a one one shot. Whereas self device can stay, providing doesn't mm. get hit off. Of course, don't don't waste your missiles when they do it. Just well, no, this is all primary weapon attacks, I was doing. Uh, but it's Ooh. just 
between that and the glitter stim, you just bounced nearly all of my damage. And so. the, the second list we have today, Darren, do you want to take us to what Chelsea is flying? Okay, so Chelsea's starting off with Hera on the Ghost. Actually, correct an auto blaster turret for that uh, automatic two points of damage. Ray, um, obviously giving uh, the extra focus. And Kane and Jarrus to make use of that focus. So that's not a little bad little combination there. Obviously, we're missing the Phantom to make it four Auto Blaster hits. Yeah, th I think that's going to be a big crux of the build that's going to mm. missing out here. The fact you're missing that extra attack with the Accuracy Corrector and Auto Blaster. That, that would have been savage, wouldn't it? Yeah. But unfortunately, if you, still put, be nasty. if you put the Phantom in there as well, that means you can only have a little ship to go with it. Mm. She's chosen Lando Calrissian in a YT 1300, um, which is not a little ship. No, you don't have to see Lando either. No, no. So yeah. With Wingman as well, so she, he can take um, the hits, I believe. Wingman is you remove a stress from someone at range one, so uh, which actually would help against Hera's maneuver. She's choosing red maneuvers, um, and then you've got Neon Num to actually turn those into all those straightforwards into greens. Yeah, and C three PO to try and knock out some of that. Um, to try and negate some of that damage. I just think the wingman is a bit wasted because it only helps if Hera's doing red maneuvers. Whereas if she's doing uh, if she's doing green, she's clearing stress anyway. And if she's doing um, a white, she's got Kane to remove the stress. Uh, I guess it could help if Hera's going fast and Lando wants to go up fast as well. But uh, who knows? Yeah, all, the only way I can actually see it is if she's going to do be doing a K turn and she wants a target lock um, to get off that big that big shot. That's a good point. Ah, but would, would it work though? Because she does a K turn, and then Lando moves. Ah, but if she if Lando moves first, that's the thing. Because Lando's mm. got to end up where at range one of Hera, so that would restrict where Lando needs to go. He would need to go quite short. He wants. I to think short. I think the yeah. uh, asteroid deployment. I have a lot to say about that. Yeah, I completely agree. And speaking of asteroid, looks like they're going for initiative right now. Let's see who has the initiative. It's blank. Oh, so David has the initiative. So we're going to remove the marker there, and we're going to start the timer as the, the match is now underway. Our brand new timer. Hopefully this works. <laughs> ding, ding. And I find both lists are... Their strengths are situational, I think, um, uh, and be very difficult to put into play. That's my problem with it. It seems like it is... Both have very situational things they're going for, and they're kind of going up against the worst target, almost. Or the worst matchup against it. What do you think? Do you, I mean, who do you think is going to come out on top? Because I'd put David as a better, ex, as a with more experience. Mm. But you also got to remember that um, he's got less attack dice going out than Chelsea has initially. Think and about, I, and I think if that hawk gets caught wrong, that's gonna that's gonna perish very quickly, isn't it? Oh yes. Yeah, they, um, it's good little ship but it's it's very easy to kill isn't it then again with a ghost in play with zero agility that's going to also go down and melt very quickly not as fast as the hawk but um you know there's a reason it's got all those holland shields all right so is it just me have they got the ships on the wrong side <laughs> are you yes you are right huh i'm gonna quickly go and uh go and correct that what we're looking at then Uh, well, Dave, David seems to be on the right-hand side, and Chelsea, judging by the nails, is on the left-hand side. I see. So what do you think? What is your opinion? Who do you think is going to come out on top on this one? Quite possibly David. He's, Quite possibly. He's oh, let's have some conviction here, man. Yeah. He's, he's more experienced. You know, Chelsea, we all love her, but... She doesn't play as often as David does. No, I think Chelsea's got a good chance here. I mean, there's a lot of hole for David so, to chill through. Certainly, if, if she can uh, catch that hawk and get it. Yeah, she can get it uh, early. Two on one is always a good a good game to play, isn't it? All right, so the name the names that are all around. Uh, I mean, are they swapping the bits around there anyway? Yeah, they are swapping this around. But yeah, uh, the list are the wrong around because um, he gave me... I thought he was flying rain and... And Jan, he's not. He's flying Hera and Lando, which makes sense. I thought David is more of a... Uh, he likes his VCX. All right. And so what were we just mm. saying about who's going to win? Oh, if the Hawk gets killed. Yep. The, the, Hawk, the Hawk is yeah. Chelsea's. If the Hawk goes down to the Ghost, and David should have announced to get that in there nice and quick, 
because those those focus tokens aren't going to matter a dot if that ghost gets in close. Obviously, no roll, no rolling the dice, no focus tokens. Yeah. Yep. Nice. That's the thing is that uh, David's got the potential to block compared to Chelsea, who's firing first, moving last, and that could be very, very different. And that, that swings things because now David's got the experience and the firepower compared to Chelsea. I mean, she's got that one great big hit in Ray if she can get the arc there and at range one, but. Uh, is it going to be enough? Yeah, it's got to be lined up properly, hasn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. Ideally, you know, for a good couple of turn, consecutive turns as well. Because, hmm. of course, later tonight we have our tankard match, which Darren yeah. will be defending his tankards. <laughs> He's the current, the current tankard champion uh, against uh, Robin Darth Farnden. Uh, seeing if he can take on. And so what exactly are you against in that match? Not a silencer. No, well, no, no, because he, would, he would like a silencer, <laughs> yeah. but oh no. It was speaking it was speaking of, they have arrived and they are here, and don't yes. they look lovely? <laughs> yeah, we get to take one of these, right? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> nice try. Um, I believe he's gone back to one of his old, old tricks of the Alpha Strike Imperials, using harpoon missiles this oh, time round. That's the worst. <laughs> this thing he's very good at. Yeah, this could be problematic. Um, I can see Miranda going down very quickly mm. to that, so... Uh, I'm going to have to find some way of getting it within that range one or behind him very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, but back to this match. It's, I I don't know who's got this. I'm, I'm pretty sure David's got the advantage here. Uh, Setup-wise, he looks like he's going to skirt the edge, which is actually going to benefit him not so, and probably even give Chelsea an idea of where he's going to go because she's got to be concerned about her arc when it comes to Ray, more than anything. Because she needs that extra dice from Finn, and she needs to get those re-rolls from being an arc. And that highly restricts where she's going to go. It, it makes sense that Ray have the Signals title to uh, help her get around after passing the target. But it's gonna, we're going to see whether Chelsea can indeed go for this. Oh, hello. We've got Terry has posted a message. Yes, very nicely coloured chips there as well. Mm. Yes. Yes, we have uh, our Stars and Stripes up in the upper right with Ant-Man and our Harley Quinn with a standard hawk, which is actually my hawk because I had to learn them hawk. Uh, is it a standard one, is it? Okay. It's just a standard hawk. Oh, poor old hawk. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll get Toby to paint my X-Wing ships one day. <laughs> okay, Terry. Right. And there's a handshake and the game is on. The timer is apparently not working, so that's the second timer that I found which doesn't work. So it seems to be that... Not as simple as it sounds. Two for two, it's not bad. Yeah, hopefully the third one will be better. Okay. Right, yeah. at the moment, in the first couple of turns, Chelsea could have an advantage on range here. Because as the Stars and Stripes Falcon comes around the top from the right-hand side, she the could... Ghost can't get close enough to use the Hawk, to shoot the Hawk or the Falcon. So mm. she could have two ships on one. Mm. if she gets that range right. She's also going, if she wants to get the best out of Jan, she wants to get that trick shot off. So she really wants to be behind an asteroid, which will help her defensively as well. Yeah. There's a slow bank here from is it, Lando. Is it the ghost is the one with the autoblaster? Yes, it is. So it's totally Well out of the way for that, yep. isn't it? That should be flying up the middle. All right, so Lando is going first, allowing him to give an action to uh, Hera, who gives him a focus token. I think there is too much stress on focus here on low defence ships. Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting match. Uh, Terry, I was so looking forward to getting two silencers, but then I found out they were £30 each, and after buying the Raiders, I, Raider, I would be hard-pushed to get away with buying them before Christmas. I mean, yeah, the silencer is expensive, but you do get a lot of stuff in the kit. It is a massive upgrade count, isn't it? And it is a massive ship as well. It's huge. I mean, it's hard to... I don't know how many across. people have seen it up close yet. It gives... A, it gives yeah, it's hard to kind of say up close but it is a huge ship isn't it it is it is somewhat large yeah it is really we're looking large. three or four inches long now yeah definitely i mean it's gonna it's definitely overhang <laughs> probably overhangs and width a tiny bit but length definitely it's length length wise it's bigger than an ig yeah yeah easily i'd uh, say probably just about a tiny bit bigger maybe about the same size but it is large that definitely no but doubt about it definitely it's definitely bumping small into ship. things on the side it is a small base ship Imperials get such all the good toys. <laughs> of course. No, no, no. Scum have had their, their time. Now time for the Imperials to take over. 
All right, so no surprise here that David has slow rolled the Falcon and for Hera, but I do agree with you. Hera is not going to get you to a blaster. She's not going fast enough. Yeah, she's going to I see, I see a three middle. bank coming off of that next. But be careful about that. Chelsea's, Chelsea's turned it in a little bit too early, in my opinion. Yeah, she, uh, she needs to go forward a bit. I think she could just avoid it if she did a bank, but yeah. she would risk the rear of it clipping if she did a slower bank. Like, I think a two might be pushing it. Three would definitely clear it, though. She's braver than I am. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's something that is tricky. It's what we there. Recon specialist. So she gets two focus tokens. And she gets to keep them. Yep. Because the Moldy Crotile. She gets to keep that. Uh, probably one of my favourite... She's now got two, yeah. So they're using a dice to signify how many focus tokens the fork has. Which makes sense because you're going to be adding quite might, a lot. There might be a lot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did the same with stress on Tycho. Because you're not going to clear all that stress. So... <laughs> And once you get to five, yeah, you're stressed forever. That'll do. Yeah, that's generally, generally how I play it. Once you get to five, you're not clearing that stress. Okay, next turn I see David doing a one with the Falcon and maybe a three bank. I actually think he might rush in. Ray is banking one of the Will a one the focus. bump the asteroid in front of the Falcon? My concern is there, but it might just skim the edge. Um, it's hard to tell. I mean, unless we zoomed in, if only had a zoom feature... Great. So the Monica title means that she gets to keep the focus that she has, the foci that she has. <clears throat> you guys, I assume you guys are excited. What are you picking up from the new wave? Well, you wave twelve team. Oh, there will be uh, there will be a little silence uh, uh, joining my Shiranu, I think. Fair I think enough. Vader's going to kick kicked out on his ear. <laughs> just you know, just get away with you. Bring in Kylo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's time for the new, the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> Coming for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two heads here. I know you're talking about it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm right. <laughs> um, no, I'm picking up one of each because that's generally what I do. Um, whether it's a mis misguided thing, I don't know. But um, I'm actually looking forward to the gun though. I'm actually really interested to see what that can do. I think that will work very well in pairs. I, I agree. Think. I agree. Yeah. I Hopefully I'll, I can get a second one. Hopefully they don't all sell out. For, because I think most of them are going to, to Farndon. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I had to check downstairs and there are a large number of boxes down there. So I think there's going to be plenty available at least oh, for yes. next week. There's a large box. So, oh, David. There we go. We're going for a bump there oh, by the looks of it. That actually that might... could be a problem. That That's not a bad problem. idea. That is a problem. Is he dodging the asteroid? He's there? actually just avoided yeah. the asteroid. No mm -hmm. action. Um, however, he does get to give an action to um, to to, uh, to, uh, to to Hera because it's still a manoeuvre. You know, he still did a green manoeuvre. Yes, but he's going up on the focuses still. I know. It's uh, I. This is not. K he's too used to flying Ken and Jarrus, I think. Mm. That's the thing. I think he might have an evade there because he couldn't have gotten two focus tokens. Double check that. Well, he took a focus what? token from himself. Yeah. Oh, got a bank on the Falcon there. Or turn. Ah, he got Ray on board. That's turn a better away. idea. Hmm. Then hopefully that will be out of range of the Ghost because that is a big hit coming from the Ghost on a, on a, on the uh, the Falcon. Would you sloop next turn or just hard two in? I'd run away. Just run. Yep, yeah, because then David's got to come through that little gap with two ships. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's the Hawk yeah, is that's, turning in. That's, that's a problem. That's suicide for the Hawk. The Hawk is going to. Yes. Because now, now the the ghost is going to say, "Okay, I'm going to just turn towards the hawk and obliterate that." Yeah, off the, board. the hawk's yeah. going to a three bank, and... and it's either going to get in front range or it's going to mm. get in uh, range one. Yeah, she's splitting her forces as well, which is not good. So if she does run away next turn, then yeah, the hawk is as good as dead. Mm. Meaning she's probably going to turn it in, probably a hard one next turn, or even a hard two. It won't be any good because that ghost will come in and she's not going to get the shots. Yeah. Although we are probably going to get uh, oh it is, it is uh, in four range four shots all oh, do it is in range oh it's yeah just barely with it but it is there so who's firing first Chelsea so has be. she given the Falcon the extra shot I don't see it, any it, any stress on the Moldy Crow nor do I whether she remembers the abilities and is a key question um, that's going to be vital at this point and mm, uh, it is out of arc so maybe you have to save it for when. She knows she needs it, but in my opinion, if you, if you don't use it now, you'll never use it. Yeah, she's got near none. That's what he's there for. That Problem is true. Is she's cut herself off. Mm. She goes forward, she's going right towards the edge of the board. Yeah, I completely I agree. I think that is a terminal mistake. I completely I think it's downhill from here. 
I think that we could see the, the, the Hawk die next turn, and then it's just the Falcon going to have to go against, get, go against both these two large ships. Hold on, there's, there's General, so we've got the stress, should have stress coming in now. All right, so she's decided to use it. There it is. There's the stress. So Ray is gaining an extra dice. So that's going to be four shots, probably going at the Ghost, I would imagine, just to avoid that. Um... The, the, yeah, the Falcon's getting... Mm. The Falcon's oh, oh dear. Two, that's three blanks are you on it. Oh, dear. That's not what you want. And if, and if she was an arc, she could re-roll two of those blanks. There, now, that it is range three, so the ghost gets one and at least takes one damage, but that's not enough. And oh, I don't know. That might have been it. He just took a token off the top. That, chances are that was an evade. Oh, it's an evade. Oh, well, that's even worse. No damage exchange. And here's the falcon. Oh, and it's going to be in range. It's going to be in it range. Go this turn. And actually, it, it, I think it's not through the asteroid either. Oh, but the... Um, the, the Jan is firing. Jan's at, firing first. Yeah. And this this is why it negates the dice. So there we go. Spending the focus to make sure all three hits go through, even though you don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. There's nothing. You're not going to you're not gonna lose anything against the ghost. All you need is one hit. Yeah, that's, that's all you need. Uh, it's a possibility David's uh, passing that information on. If he knows what's good for him, he will. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he might find himself um, in the doghouse tonight. There we go. Now, that's yeah. when you want to spend the focus, when you have nothing there. So that's two hits off the ghost, two shields. Not worth getting um, Jan out of the action. Because no. she's going to die next turn, if not this turn. Uh, there is range three. But that's, that's a shot. That looks that's like a shot. shot. Yeah. yeah, I think that's going to be... And if David knows... That's gonna be a big hit, isn't it? Dave is a tactical one. He'll you he'll con converge fire on that thing until it's dead. It is range three, so there are three dice that Jan is rolling. She has got defence on the terms on focus. Oh, we have a major knock of the rock there. Oops, not quite back where it was, <laughs> but yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> they are checking to see whether it is in the asteroid or not. Obstructed or because that that's the key between uh, three dice or four dice for the for the Monte Crow. Uh, hit, crit, hit. Good start. Well, that's a painful shot to receive. Hopefully, Jan can roll all paint. Or not. Two blanks, and I believe that is an evade. If it's not, if it's a focus, it's a focus. She converts one to Oops, avoid. the hawk now. Yeah, she should have been taking her time with the hawk. Build up those focuses. That's what he's there for. I mean, I, I think it's definitely a show of an experience from Chelsea. I mean, she's been playing the game... For a while, but she's not played the game a lot. Does that make sense? She has yeah, to focus on the same. Yeah. On the same oh, list. and, and the crit is direct hit. hit. Ooh, a direct hit. Down to two. Yeah, and the ghost hasn't could fired be dead yet. this turn, couldn't it? it oh, oh dear. dear me! And that I think What's he, that got? That's four. That's, it's a four, four dice shot. Range three. Three hits and a crit. Three from, hits and a crit from the from the ghost. Yeah, that is in trouble. And yeah, it's range three, so. Well, that's an extra dice that the Monocro gets for what it's worth. <laughs> uh, blank. And it's not. Not enough. Oh, not enough. What have we got? She got blank, and I believe two focus results. No, a focus and a, and a evade, but it's still dead no matter what. So, hit and a crit. That's a console fire, so if it's not dead, it probably would be by now. And that is Jan removed from the board. I hope she takes a crit, so she takes another crit as well. Oh, so, cycles through the deck at least. <laughs> but I believe that is Jan very much removed from play. And this is where the uphill battle begins for Chelsea, because she can't... She's only done two damage to uh, to Hera. In fact, I put it on Lando. I should put it on Hera. No. Yeah, David can really afford to pile in there now, can't he? Yeah, he's not in danger at all. Uh, because uh, by losing Jan... Um, Chelsea has also lost a bit more damage going out because now, if she wants to get that full dice, she's going to get into range one. If she wants the fifth one, she's got to get into arc and at range one. If she wants the sixth, and she can't get a sixth anymore. She's missed her big hit, mm. as it were. And if she, I think she should have just gone around the asteroid, done a big hit, coming behind the ghost because the ghost not got not got its rear firing arc. But then that that's me. I I'm coming off for the opinion that she's just stayed at range. Generals is a wonderful support ship. Um, the TLT only really comes into play if you get it too close, or if your opponent gets too close to you. That's a good point. It's a, it's, an, it's a bonus hit. Um, that's why I'd roll I'd roll Jan behind. Yes. The, uh, the Falcon. 
yeah, both of them should have come come south on that one. Mm. Yeah. Um, the Falcon is currently Harley, the Harley Falcon, mm. isn't really in the best positions at the moment. She mm. might get away with a sloop to the left um, and get a direct shot, depending. Oh no, don't want to do that now. Uh, no, that would be a ghost in the face. Ooh. Five dice. I mean, what she could do if she wanted to be shocking, surprising, is sloop the other way, go over the asteroid, nuts to it, and flip around the other side. She's then got a fire... She, she'll least shoot at it. She might take a damage, but at this stage, if she doesn't risk it, she's not going to win. Mm. She needs to get those range one shots uh, in arc shots as well to get that extra fin dice and to get the quality from the re-rolls and potentially focus. She's got... She's not got anything to gain on Ray right now. She can't get a focus if she did this, but she... No, she's got expertise, so... And Kane would remove anyway, so actually she'd get a full modified hit if she actually slipped now. Yeah, we're looking yeah, at what three is help a lot. Mm. plus fin. Yeah, it'd be a it'd be a big hit on the ghost. And yeah, we're looking Ray at the and ghost Finn by themselves it, can yeah. can clobber, can't they? Yeah. And a ghost, it does have auto blaster, which is why you don't want to get too close to it. But at the same time, I'd rather. Oh ooh. no, that's the wrong way to go. She, that's the thing. She's trying to avoid. Ah. Oh, she's bumping. Yeah, that actually that's that has there yeah. because yeah, that's one less shooter now. Assuming she does bump it, she might even fit. I don't think so, but mm. you never know. Doesn't look Depends like how much they move the no. template. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! Okay. Oh, oh, and the ships. And the ships, there we go. Okay, so what we're looking at now, we're looking at a free dice shot at the side of the Falcon with expertise. That's actually really good because Chelsea's, mm. Chelsea has, negl- has basically negated the extra action that Lando has given to the ghost. Because now the ghost can't use that extraction. Correct. So if anything, Lando bumped for nothing. Interesting. Um, although it does mean she's not she's starting to split her fire, which is not good. In general, well, she can't split her fire. She's got no one to uh... exactly. Oh, but... so if you're outnumbered, bumping one of them is a good, the good thing one, yeah. because it's... yeah. It I mean, levels out the amount of shots going each way, doesn't that it? That is true. It does negate that one shot, which is mm. the key thing. I do like how both Falcons are now not on their faces. <laughs> what do we see from the Ghost next turn? Um, 5k. Yeah. It's I'll what he'll do. Same. There we go. That's what we're after. There we go. And, he gets to re- and she gets to re-roll that because she gets, uh, She's got Finn. That's what the extra dice is. Yeah, so she's re-rolling because of Finn. Yeah. And she's got expertise, so it all it all comes up all uh, uh, good good. Did that slightly wrong, but uh, it's all right. I can't see very well. What expertise. expertise. How many have we got there then? That looks four? like four hits. Yep. That's what you get from when you fly right, fly right, and that's very very good. That looks like an invade. So yep. Now. That's what we're after three hits on the Falcon. Okay, here comes Lando with only one crit through onto Ray, and Ray does get the thin defense as well, and can we roll? So actually, Ray's in quite a good position here. She could avoid that one crit. So there's the the dice from from Finn. I think that's an evade anyway, but just for good measure, why not re-roll and see what you get with that Ray? Cool. So re-rolling the blank from Finn, and. That looks like a focus to me. But That's negated right. by the original rolling anyway. So You only need the one. Yep. Now, it's also put David in a tricky situation because he has to move first. Meaning that if he wants to get an action onto Hera before she K-turns, he has to bump Lando, which means maybe staying where he is. I see Hera doing the 5k. I do think that's Straight off. Yeah, I agree. Um, even with the blank shots, it's still worth it. Mm-hmm. I think Lando will be alright, staying where he is. And as soon as Hera's got Ray on board anyway, she's keeping hold of that focus. So then she can use it when she gets the target Correct. Next right. Interesting. Assuming Lando does do the uh, the one to give a, uh, an action to, uh, to Hera, which I think would actually be very beneficial, but it would mean that Lando is staying where he is. And I don't think turning actually would help Lando, because I think he might just clip the asteroid. Might. Well, we learned both the same pilot skills on it. I'd probably forego Lando on this one. I'd, I'd be I happy also, I would do the same thing. Hope. I would do the, exactly the same thing. Do the hard one to the left. And then block Ray, so then she can't shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, I also see Ray doing a sloop to the right to get that front arc. But then will that clip no. the asteroid? No, I don't think so. Ooh. 
So, yeah. He's gone the one forward. Given the target lock to uh, to Hera to give maximum quality on the uh, five attack dice. That's Is that a target lock? That looks like an evade, actually. Wrong move. Mm-hmm. Give her a target lock. Unless she... Yeah, she's do. Ooh, is that... The f- that is the 5k. Yep. Hello, someone's uh, saying X-Wing on Twitch. Can kiss in. I think we've seen you before. Yes, we are live broadcasting X-Wing on Twitch. Uh, that's the 5k. David always says that when he ever think, whenever he's thinking about doing the 5k, he thinks of me because there are many times where I've told him on stream, do the 5k, you fool. <laughs> In this instance, I think it's going to work out for him. Because unless Ray can slip the arc here, which is very unlikely, especially with that engine upgrade, she's going to... Did she gonna... do the hard... Oh, yeah, she oh. did the hard right, straight into the jaws. The jaws of the beast. At this point, Has I... she got it in arc now? Mm, no. 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 Oh, no, you can tell by the defeated nod of the head. At this point, I wish I had... Uh, I wish I had um, something like expert handling on board, that, that thing. The other barrel on a large ship is not a hard... Is not a thing you kind of... Think about it a lot. Unless you're a YT2400. Oh, I have to think about it quite often, actually. <laughs> no, but I think um, people don't expect expert handling. So yeah, It's uh, very try, rare. I tried it on a Lancer last week. I don't know if it was a good idea or not. but Well, the benefit of doing, being able to do a, do a barrel and also strip a target lock is very useful. So essentially, it's black one, but without... You know, I was trying it on Ketsu you know, with a thinking to be to get the trap to be trying. in on people. They're trying. He's trying, isn't he? No, yeah. it's not, is it? I don't think it is. We'll soon see as dice get rolled. Uh, but I believe, okay, yeah, it's just it's now onto the ghost. But then again, oh she, no, she she's shoot. got a turret. She should be able to fire. Yeah, she shoot. Yeah, yeah, she shoot. Yeah, sorry, she's shooting the ghost. Five dice range. Oh, four dice range one. Wow, oh, look that'll, at that. That'll do. That'll do. What have we got there? That's four hits. Another four, all the way through. I think. Okay, maybe that evade wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Then again, I would have just taken it because you can afford that one damage. Yeah. Whereas if you get if you roll your dice and get five blanks, you'd be thinking like, "Wish well, I'd taken that target lock now." <laughs> yeah, that target lock I think would have been vital at this point because mm. Ray is still on hundred percent, and now David's split his fire rate. He's going to take his Millennium Falcon. Yeah, well, Lando's not going to be, Lando's not going to be shoving through much damage with only one mm. hit. I mean, that, that may be one, but that's not going to be enough. Uh that's a focus. So she can't actually... Oh, no, nah, XP doesn't work on defence, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, David just explained that. So she's going to spend the focus. Yep. Yep. It's one hit, whether you get it, take it away from Lando or take it away from the ghost. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, oh, needed that target lock. Needed that, yeah, needed that target lock, exactly as you said. Three blanks. Three blanks, two hits. Two hits. Never trust your dice. So two hits. With accuracy corrector. Oh, he's doing it with the... Oh, okay. He, just, he went for the primary. Exactly what I thought you should do. You go with the primary, go for the primary. If you can't, you've got the auto blast as a... As a, a get-out-of-jail-free card, essentially. So she's got away very lightly out of that. Mm. She got very lucky. Because she only took takes one, because that's an evade. Mm. So she got very lucky on that. And I think a sloop to the left might set her up for to sh- for shots, but um, I just think a K might be, might be better. Gives well, you distance. The ghost is on a red at the moment. Yeah, it is stressed. So yeah, sloop to the left. I think. Yeah. Well, while she's yeah. got the ghost alone over that side of the board. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good she's point. got the opportunity to try and get a couple of crits in. That Especially, could change it. Especially with Lando so far out of position. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a turn or two before he gets back, isn't he? So Definitely should... two turns, because you could do a two hard here, but you might risk the asteroid. Um, so if he wants to play it safe, he wants to bank. Which means... Great. Yeah, which means um, he's still keeping away from the engagement zone. Uh, Lando's not going to get shot next round. And he's, going to be, he's not going to be able to trigger Lando Carissian either. Mm. So, because he needs to do a green... So unless he banks and can somehow get within range one of the ghost. Is his ability an action? It isn't, no. He, it, it triggers when he performs a green manoeuvre, but it has to be within ship at range one. Which is why you really want Lando moving, the luck being the last ship to move, or the first, depending on your position. Hmm. Um, if you're flying in formation, you want him to be the last one to move. If you're flying separately with everything else going 
you know, separately. You wanted him to kind of sometimes go first. I think I'd probably be looking at a tactical bump at this point with the ghost. I agree. Maybe a one to, one to the right. Try and get that range one. If not actually getting an arc, because I definitely would see uh, the the sloop coming out of this. Yeah. And uh, no, he's doing a one no. forward, causing a bump. Mm. Wow. And that's the thing. If she sloops, that's going to be outside of range one. And that's going to be a lovely shot. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's it's going to be the shot that she wants. Don't you agree, Sean? I hope, I hope that's what she has done. I right. yeah. would have gone, 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 gone for the, the hard bank. one on that. Definitely would have gone for the hard one. It's just a rock. Well, straight into the rock. Oh, yeah. Got to be done sometime. He can afford it. it. You know, he can't all shoot. them shields. He can't shoot, can he? Yeah. The, no, I agree with Darren. He can't He can't shoot, but he's not going to get shot anyway. And he's got. He's undamaged. He can afford to take the damage. Oh, the oh, wrong, wrong way. way. Never way. That's a classic X Wing mistake there. I don't think she can complete the sloop then if she does that. No actions. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Wrong one. If you're not touching the ship, okay, so you can as long as you're not touching on the ship. All right, so she's at least in a good, better position for next round. Unfortunately, she's in a worse position because now she's at she's at auto blaster range. Very true, and she's going over rock again next turn. Plus, you know, now if it was a normal turret, I'd be fine with it because at least you get the extra range for the um, the asteroid. But there's no you do you don't roll defense dice against auto blaster. Well, you do, but only for crits. So it's actually, auto blaster and accuracy crits are there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So there's so guaranteed there's two hits. Mm -hmm. There's guaranteed two hits here. There's nothing going on there for rocks or anything, is there? No. no. Uh, she gets a crit. And she takes another hit. Yeah. From the rock. It's cost her. She was in such a good position there. Yeah, I agree. Do you think she mixed up left and right then? It's I, quite possible. Something we've all done. It, we've all done it. Yeah. And it's one of those key things that when you don't That's play a it. Shocking time to do it though. Yeah. Okay, one hit, auto blast. I'll actually correct it up to two. And there's no rolling defense dice against that because it's all an auto blaster. So, yeah, no crits to avoid. And if there were, David would just say, okay, I'll turn to two hits. Mm hmm. So, yeah, she just takes two, and that's her shield's gone. I agree with you, Darren. She was in such a great position, mm. and she kind of just threw it away there. So David's, David's mistake of going too wide had given her the opportunity to pull the game back. Fortunately, she's now thrown it away. David can do a hard one and probably yeah, put himself she, in range free of the next turn. She did miss a, and she's a golden a, opportunity. There. She's also in a very awkward position from here, because she goes forward, she's risking an asteroid next turn. If she banks, she's probably going to get her shot. Will, I think she's going to have to bank to the right. Will the template make it past the rock there? I uh, oh, good question. Actually, I can't see very well. It depends. I think Darren's right though. One bank to the right probably be the better thing for. Her. Uh, I'd go. For, I'd, I'd probably go even further than that. Try and stay away from range on the Millennium Falcon and try and get a range two to three shot on the Ghost. Even if it's out of arc, it's still a shot. It's still a shot. Yeah, and it's going to hit. It's a Ghost. That's true. And if you can get two turns coming up the right-hand side while uh, Dave's Falcon's on the wrong side of, of the battle, you may be able to get six or seven um, wounds off of it. Well, let's not forget, yes, okay, she doesn't get rerolls, but she still gets the conversion on the focus, mm. thanks to expertise. So you're still looking at quite a lot of damage she potentially has here to do for the Ghost. But as if she takes the right mm. invasive defensive manoeuvres, if she turns into the left... Mm. She's going to get one hit by two. That? That's a one half. Yeah. That's a sensible move for that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it finally goes back on its base. Oh. <laughs> After rounds of being away from there. Uh, I want to know where Ray's, Ray is currently. A bit boring. Just, there we go. So the Stars and Stripes is doing a focus. Lando in. To be fair, that's kind of the kind of paint job I'd expect from Lando. All flashy. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no cape. <laughs> Just a cape fluttering behind the falcon. You know what? He'd be the kind. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a, a risky one. K again? A risky one. He is Kaying. I don't. I don't often see the ghost as a jouster, but mm. it looks a bit of a big lump to be doing a K turn, doesn't it? But it gets it arc. Oh, that's the thing. Now has she done? Has she gone left or has she gone right? Oh. She's gone left. I think he's going. That's going to be game over within a couple of turns. There's no escaping that. Yeah, she's going into the the kill box. 
Where's she going? What's it say? I think she's turning in. I got a bad feeling that she's turning in. She's oh, turning in. No. She is. Now I'll give her credit. She's seen that she didn't bump when she did the sloop it's last ten, time. Ten plate, she's gone back the other way. Templates clear of the rock, is it? Yeah. Templates clear of the rock. Yeah. Okay, so she she avoids taking any damage to the rock and losing Sli- action. Slightly less pain for her then. But this is, this is where you want a big barrel roll. Yeah, that's where you want a barrel. You can get range on the falcon then. Yeah, you're taking a shot for the ghost, but the ghost is going to shoot you anyway. So, yeah, she can't eat. Well, at least she's going to get what four, three, four dice shot, off, four dice shot off that. Yeah. Including Finn expertise. That's at least four dice. So the I think the best hope there is a, a blinded pilot on the ghost, isn't it? Hmm. Well, the ghost already the ghost already moves first, so oh, but not shooting. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Yeah, that would be really the best crit to get actually at this point, so we can get it. But, hmm. We'll see. Again, looking turns ahead, she's not got a lot of options. I think she's disengaging in the next turn. If she hards two, she could block the falcon and then shoot the ghost. Mm. Maybe. Well, she's making the right, right manoeuvre of the camp measures. Yeah, I agree. Give yeah, her more agility at the very least. Yeah. Maybe she's... give her three against the falcon and two against the ghost. Yeah. See if she's... Let's see who she's attacking with first, though. I mean, the, the easy target for me would be Ghost. Yes. You know, it's zero agility, it's closer, it's just it's just the be- better target. And it's got less hold points now. Exactly. Let's see what she's going for. She's got a blank down. Oh, dear. At least she gets a re-roll two of them. She blanks and a hit, is it? Yeah. She does get to re-roll two of them, though. That's, she, not, she can't re-roll the third. Yeah. Oh, yes. another blank. Yeah. So hit, and hit, and hit. Two hits. So there's oh, a blank. That's... Yeah, it could have gone better. It's not going to be a big impact on it. Is yeah, it? it could have gone a lot better. I mean, to be fair, she was in the prime position. It's just bad rolls. Because mm. she got the re rolls. It's just simply she re rolled one to a blank into a blank. Can't trust a dice. <laughs> Never can. All right, they're measuring arc here to see whether uh, Finn is engaged. I don't think he oh, is. I don't know. That's not looking too Ooh. bad. No, nah, that's actually looking quite good. Yep, they decided it's in. All right, it's in. So there's the extra dice from Finn. Help out there. That, and that's going to help. She's going to get another one as well. Just going to be range three, plus her countermeasures. Yeah, she's going to need, need another dice. Yeah, she's done. I think there. They're there counting them, aren't they? Yeah. Four dice. Oh, that's she's impressive. Got, she's got three to fight. Three hits, though. Yeah. Still, it's possible. Possible. She's got a focus as well. And she can re-roll two. Yeah, there'll be two re-rolls on there. So she need that. She, need, she needs it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, it's two re-rolls. Yeah, Go for it. The dice are being treacherous, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, but I think it's full house. That'll do. That's Evade it. Them. Oh, evade it. <laughs> That's enough. Keeps her focus for the next one. It was a right time to prop the countermeasures. Oh, but she oh, had no, to spend, she the spend the focus. I don't know. I, think I would have waited for the I'd ghost. I'd take the hit. I'd, I'd take, take, I'd take the, the hit, hit, yeah. Because yeah. don't forget that essentially she's already evaded three. So yeah. She didn't, yeah she's, there we go. There we go. Rolled it back. <laughs> Rolled it back. So it's range two on the ghost. So that's four versus uh, three, I believe. No, two. Uh, well, there's three. Spending the focus there from... Doable. Again, yeah. She's getting away quite light. She is actually doing yeah, quite... She did that last time. Can she do it again? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Spend the focus. <laughs> oh. All right, it was only two, but I think David agreed. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. He, she rolled three when it should have been two, and now she's re rolled into two blanks. Oh, dear. I know, she started again, and she now she's re rolling those two by the looks of it. Oh, there was the fin dice as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chelsea doesn't play the game often. Oh! That's better. We've got, I think, a focus and an evade there with a blank from Finn. Oh, no, the, yeah. There we go. Okay, so she loses, what, one shield out of that? Yeah. that's I. She, take, she takes one hull. Oh, she loses oh, no, a shield. She had a shield left. Oh, she has a shield left. Okay, fair enough then. Um, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I think she could have done a lot she, worse she, there. Yeah, she got off extremely light. Given All right, that. maybe Captain Measures might have been worth it. <laughs> this once. Walking back on your word. 
No, I like I like him. I like my um, stealth device on Dash at the moment. Mm. Oh yeah, Dash running around with Lone Wolf for stealth device, Whoa. range three through a rock. Yeah, because you can guarantee range three most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. Suffering from earlier as well, wasn't it? It was fun, wasn't it? The only one, well, the only ship you've got to be worried about is, is Blount, really. There's a couple of ships, yeah. including that one. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, the silencer. The speed of that ship is. The dial on it, though, is, is wonderful. Yeah. It really is. I'm not looking forward to going against it. <laughs> I think you will be facing it. Like, I, I will be facing it. I will be facing it. The point where I'll probably, like, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> I'll defect. Uh, one bank there from the Falcon, very tight towards the cross on there, but it's still there, it's still in. If she's one-hearted, she's probably going to bump, which might not be the worst thing in the world if she's going to... Again, with the disengaging, I think, on this one, because the ghost is obviously going to have to move somewhere, mm. and flying... Uh, do we, does the Millennium have a I four forward? Um, a, mm, it does. It has a forward K as well, if, she, if she's refeed really bold. I don't think it's getting out of there, though. No, it's going to bump somebody, expertise. isn't it? Again, that's yeah, a good but thing. you get you get the attack. That's the thing, which mm. is better. Which oh, she's this, still going to get the attack. That's true, and also there's also the concern about the auto blaster as well. Yeah, yeah. If she had engine upgrade, then I think a full Ford would, would be better. But no. What is it doing? Yeah. Oh, no, we're bumping. I think that, she, not so bad. Not so, so bad. Like I say, hopefully, if you're outnumbered. That's hopefully, that's a three. Shoot, yeah. Hopefully, that's a three Ford, not three K. I don't think that's going to be an arc. I don't think it is. I think it's quite clearly out. We'll soon find out. Because uh, you can't shoot at the ghost. You can only shoot at, uh, of course, Rolando. That's fine. The ghost can't shoot her but either. Yeah, that's what uh, I was going to say. Importantly, the ghost can't shoot her. It will next round, though, because that's going to do a four, another 5k. <laughs> Possibly. Well, it is, because <laughs> yes. David's kind of given it, away his strategy David. now. Yeah. yeah, David's given away his strategy. He's going to build 5k it next time. Mm. Well, be careful there, David. You might hit the asteroid now. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> no, I don't think that's going to miss. Yeah, I see I think, no base yeah. underneath that. Do you find it hard to move the ships around without bumping them all the time? Not overly. It can be tricky, especially with some of the larger ship models. I find I'm missing hands and fingers, not enough hands and fingers to hold the, things down. The, if you've got three big ones all right next to each other, then yes, you've got to get round the side and be, right under. It can be difficult squeezing round them, can't it? Uh, and the ghost isn't known for its sturdiness. No, and here we go. Chelsea rolling uh, a blank and two focuses, which converts from expertise into two hits, which uh, is respectable. And, yeah, nothing. So, Lando takes two shields. First damage for the gambler. He's not exactly gambling in this one. He seems to be a, a surefire win in the book. Yeah, if he is, yeah. he's winning. Yeah. He's winning well. <laughs> uh, two hits. Shot and a... back is two and a crit, is it? Two and a crit. Uh, but an evade, that's at least one crit. One hit negated. Still, not enough, though. What is the crit? Oh, got there. What is the crit? I can't exactly see it there. I think no. it's, it's something pilot. I think it might be blinded pilot. Yeah, there was enough enough uh, text on it. Yeah. It could be shaken pilot, actually, because that's the one that has the most text. I don't know. I don't see crits that often, you see. So. Oh, no. I could, all, the, all, all those shields, huh? <laughs> all those shields and using TLTs too much. <laughs> Heavy laser cannons. <laughs> True. True. Hmm... So what do you guys think of the current match? Of course, we have got one more coming up later today, which, of course, is uh, Darren versus Robin. I'm going to see how that goes. I don't expect that to be a very long one. Clash of the Titans. <laughs> the Clash of the Titans. Uh, no crit token. I keep, sell I keep telling people, Terry, use your crit tokens. But people don't seem to listen. <laughs> well, I think that's something I famously learned a while ago. Learned a while back. <laughs> Use yes. your yeah, when you were flying a zombie ship. Buy crit tokens. Yeah. Yes. Three, three times, wasn't it? There's a couple of, a couple of <laughs> embarrassing situations, yes. <laughs> These things happen, you know. But that's why they include them and no one uses them except for a few select people. And like, no, I use them because you always forget those crits. Mm -hmm. I've got to admit, yeah. I didn't even realise there were crit tokens <laughs> until until about three months ago. Mm. And yeah, the, the Zombie Lancer and I think a console fire on a Fenrail, which got a bit out of hand once. Yeah, that, that, that would mess you up. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, but these things happen. 
As long as it's not in a tournament. PJ has given us a... But it was. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, PJ, I have a specific set of crit tokens which has one for every crit. Wow. That must have cost a bomb. Blimey. That'd be, that'd be where, something to where, see. Just, where can you get those? Can you, can you link that to us? It'd be nice to actually see what yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see them. Yeah. Well, I'd probably need them. <laughs> Uh, I haven't got the space in my token. My token tray is already at capacity as it is. And all these condition tokens are not making it easier. All right, there's a tactical yeah, bump in the there. game, another bump. It is going to give the uh, the ghost another action, which is probably going to be an evade. Uh, but I, I, again, I'll just do target lock. And evade. I have to admit, the nicest thing I've seen recently is a damage deck. Um, where every single individual card had different artwork on it. I've seen that. I've that seen that. Beautiful. It was a beautiful. Oh, I've, yeah. I was very tempted to buy that, but it's like the price at the time, which is a bit too. I think the price at any time for mm. something like that yeah, is. Yeah, it's, mm. it's a very pretty. Yeah. Four pounds. Five pounds. Four, four pounds wow. Maybe six from Art of War Studio. Someone's got templates. Oh, mm. cheap enough. That's very cheap. That's I'm not, not the doing game. a K turn. That's the th that's a three bank. Ooh. 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 Risky, but in auto blaster range, if yeah, she bumps. If, if it's cleared, if Chelsea's Falcon bumps, then there's some, no, one, some shots. Anything, well, one forward or two forward is going to bump. I think if she does a three like she did last time, or if she sloops, she could, could, she, could uh, she sloop? No, I see that hitting a rock if she I sloops. I agree. Yeah. I'm going to look those up. Art of War Studios. <laughs> Not that we're sponsored by them. You see, if a few of our guys do have out of war templates, they're, they're pretty nice. Ooh, that is. Infinity tokens. Uh, Google token, X Wing tokens. <laughs> Are we all staring at the pretty tokens now? <laughs> I was trying to see what Chelsea's doing there. Uh, oh, she's, ooh, going long. She's, she's, long. she's going long. Is it a four? Is it a K? Or it's, is a, it? it's a. I think it's a K. Hello, Wojtek. Oh, it's, no, it's just a full forward. It's not a K. Mm. At that time, I think it would be great as a K. Yeah, K would have been... I mean, a Here you go. There. Critical hit tokens. They actually look really nice. Mm. That actually is... That's, that's very cheap. Five ninety nine for a set of crit tokens. That Ooh. is pretty cool. Yeah. I might actually have to get that. <laughs> Ooh, I see price support. Ooh. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're that not wrong. Be, that would be a beautiful price. <laughs> that would yeah, be a beautiful yeah. price to get, and it's not too expensive, you know. Mm. Ooh, well, all the best, going all the best stuff is make a lot of shooting. All right, so that's crit. that's uh, not a bad roll from Chels. I don't know why she's got the the blank in there. Oh, range one, uh, but she gets a hit. In a, she has a hit, two hits in there. I think that's gone through. Well, I can see two damage cards on him at the moment. But on Orlando. You're right, so we have actually missed out damage somewhere on the line. So right. let's get rid of those shields. Uh, or is that the ghost? So it would be the ghost, wouldn't it? No, that is Lando. That right. is Lando, yeah. But With some cool. ineffectual fire coming back. Yeah, just a crit. A hit. So to hit the crit. And a blank. Oh dear. oh dear. Chelsea certainly is taking the damage. Um, oh, they, they've missed out of crit. Oh, she can't fire. Yeah, so there goes the two damage card back to the... Uh, back to the... Uh, so it was blinded pilot. It was blind pilot. Which, you know, uh, this is why you use crit use, tokens. You use these wonderful yeah. tokens. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me anyway. No, I think I might order a set of those tonight. <laughs> They came with a paint mask and you can paint them white or black across the thing. I can't even spread paint across tokens. So, <laughs> I'm so terrible at that. Okay. So what we're looking at, it's not another blinded pilot, surely. I, I think that might actually be what it is. If so, that's awful. That is bloody awful. Again, it's a lot of text on there, isn't it? I wonder if they can make these oversized. I'm just thinking, you know. What, just for us with glasses? For the, for the yeah. No, for the street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dahl's being put down. Unfortunately, Ray has taken a beating. She's sitting with not much hull left that, uh, well, only four hull. One good attack from the ghost, and it's yeah. all over. Mm. 
definitely needs to be spinning round. Luckily, the ghost is nowhere to be seen. So we see. I think we're seeing a three sloop to the left here. And if Dave the makes the mistake, here. Yeah, if we see if we see Dave making the mistake of following on the on the millennium. That's, That's a fairly brave K towards the edge of the board there. I think it's it looks closer <laughs> than it is. <laughs> That's something I often have problems with, to be honest. Oh, if you should check out your friendly game store who has the brand new wave in. We've got ours here tonight. It'll be available to purchase tomorrow. I just got them on display because yeah. <laughs> oh, Why he's not? followed. He's followed. Oh dear. And a bump. That makes sense. He's going to be getting a shot in at least. No, today. no, no attacks from anyone in that case. No, the, no, the other one hasn't Ray's moved yet. Ray's got to move, yeah. Oh, Ray's got to move, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's looking left. Come on, be a free sloop to the left. Come on. Oh, she's done too no. hard. No. She's not sloop. She's not making use of her upgrades. That's the thing. That would have been the perfect opportunity to take at least half of Lando down. Yeah. Get half points, at least. That's why she's got half on Hera. No. Not quite. It's no. 18, isn't it? And she's only got... Not enough. Not, not enough. not enough. Just just on the cusp of it. No, oh, it's sixteen, isn't it? Oh. Mm. That's what I thought. Um, are these these tokens carry co cover both damage decks or just the one? Because <laughs> that is a thought. It's just across my um, mind is now. The card number of cards is the same, isn't it? Yeah. Just how you interpret, how you interpret writing? Them. Yeah, yeah. I imagine they probably cover both. They probably do a set for each one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so what ships do you... Oh, hello. Hit, hit, crit from Chelsea. And evade and there. evade there from Lando. Okay, well, that's not so hit, bad. Hit. Lando's getting good at dice. There's a surprise. <laughs> I think we'll see that famous scene in the film. It's a damaged cockpit. That is there. Is that that zero? half points now zero. on Lando? It is. It's half points on Lando. So she's at least walking away with half points. Yeah. Not that that matters, but in friendlies it can mean fun to kind of think, oh, I got at least half on on that being whitewashed is never fun is it no it is do you know do you think in the future they'll go half points on all ships I hope not being a Miranda player because <laughs> <laughs> that's what people are saying that's I've, the big counter towards that mm, Apparently we can, played a, I think we're going to extend it to either all small ships or, or the bigger ones or a hull limit ones. you know I think they'd yeah, the categorise the ships to do that so you'd have to have mm. fighters um, heavy fighters and then maybe they'd do something along those lines well I think the easy way to do it is Combine the two hull and shield numbers together and say anything above that equals above X um, counts as half points. Mm. I mean, it'd be finicky, but it's a way of doing it without. There's things like yeah. Nim and Miranda, they have. Because generally, yeah. Wobbled it a bit there. But then the offset of that is Suntir Fell can be like that, and he's only got three hull, so. Yeah, that's what I mean, light, light fighters and things like that. Yeah. I can't see it being an advantage. Well, people have said Fen as an example as well, you know, he can be. Yeah. Had get some damage in, well, unless you vaporize him <laughs> in one go, which does happen. Even with a four forward, the, the ghost is not getting very close to the action. No, no, not, again, not that David, David matters. He's he, David does this quite often. He pulls his one ship well away out of the fight. Um, he did it when we played the other week. One ship went out of the fight, so your opponent can then concentrate on the one, and just that mm. tactic by itself uh, of not disengaging together and re-engaging together can lose you a game I agree I think um, if you want I mean if you want to you have to keep every ship as f involved as much as you can yes uh, yes. the best way is two on one every time two on one two on one um, that's the way to win the games or at least give yourself the best advantage okay PJ says anything about four hull half anything five hull no half anything mm -hmm. Five hole and a half points? I've heard a lot of people saying eight being the, oh, under five. the kind of benchmark for it. Hmm. Well, no, we, we played a little tester of that uh, the other week. How'd it go? Under Vortex. Uh, the only one that was really affected was a, jo a game between me and John. Um, and he managed to get half points on Miranda. And he won by two points. There you go. On left on the field now. I didn't think it was worth it at the time. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, range two shot from Lando, which might still finish off Ray if he gets a direct hit. Unlikely, but it's possible. With the amount of bad crits that um, Chelsea's been firing. And it was Blinder Pilot because she just uh, didn't attack. So, yeah. Yeah. Using expertise. Oh, no, that, is, that is her attacks. Yeah, two hits. Yeah, that is her. C3PO. Get a guess. 
he gets zero. Zero, he gets one, he evades. So he gets one damage off. And plink, plink, plink. Just scratching the paint. Yep. That's not enough. That's not enough. He need, She needs more than that. Now a bit of luck from Dave here. Four hole. And there it is. Two hits. That's at least one damage going through. And the ghost of the falcon out of range of each other there. Oh, I should think so. Yeah. yeah. Good Way couple out of range. inches. Now at this point, she needs to use those rocks to her advantage. Because Dave, he's going to have to do a left with his falcon on a hard. Just to stay, keep it in the fight. Yeah. The ghost is going to have to go at least three forwards. To get to even one. think about it. So she yeah. needs to come around to the right on a three, possibly. Uh, to stay out of the blaster range and get her own shot. Yeah. So, a sloop right, do you think? I don't think a sloop. I think she's running at this point. Okay, just run. Yeah, because uh, then she does a, a free gentle to the right, and then next turn, a free gentle to the left. And that's going to put her in behind the ghost, and hopefully staying out of range of the other falcon. She might have a trouble with getting... Yeah, I, don't don't, think, I don't think she's going to get out of range. Though. I don't think she'll fit because of the asteroid. She has a three bank. No, the front think, of the base. She might do it. She might go over the, the asteroid next turn. Yeah. But this turn, I think she'll be all right. Okay. And she won't get shot by the ghost. No, she which won't. Is the, which yeah. is the important bit. That's the important thing. Hopefully she's learned that and not turned in. And Dave hasn't gone far enough. He needed to go another, at least one more, to get a hard two in to turn the ghost around to the left next turn. Yeah. Because he now can't do that. He's got to do a three. That's going to stress him. He's just concentrating no. on this turn. Oh, oh she's just going she, she got too close. Oh. I don't know, is she just... Oh! Okay. Oh. oh dear. That's definitely that... not the right manoeuvre. I think she's... She's pincered next turn and dead. Yeah, I think she's gotten... She's gotten out of the range one don't hold of the... Uh, or the range one yeah. uh, arc of the, the ghost, but she's going to... Yeah, she's going to get caught next round. I don't know. I think that range one is close. It's, it's, it's within, very, within very millimeters. close. It's going to be... Yeah, they're going to need that template. Where is it? Well, first she gets her attack, range three... In arc, so she needs to get rerolls, and she adds Finn. It's in the clear, better than nothing. And she could, if she got direct hit, kill Lando. But with very, with very good <laughs> with C three PO, and actually, it's actually the worst time for C three PO because now he's got a either oh, he's got two dice, so it actually it misses with the odds of what, what do you guess? Okay, that's two crits in there, I believe. And rerolled a one. Actually, I think that's yeah, that's two crits, a hit, a focus. Oh, 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 oh well. What's he going to go for? He didn't go for anything. He guessed one, I think. And he got nothing. Spend the focus. Attack. One. I didn't see him take anything. I didn't see him take any damage I think, out I, of that. I think he spent the focus to avoid taking any, hit, any damage. And she can't expertise because she's stressed. So that's why. That's such a good roll as well. And evaded, she gets one... That evades it, but it's, it's like only a matter of time. Yeah, one hit evaded, though, that's good enough. And then two, possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. But is the ghost in range? We're now looking. I think it's out. No, that's out of range, isn't it? But is it arc? Uh, that's a good question. He's still checking for the range one, is no, he? No, no shot. shot. No shot. She squeaked out of that one, but the fact that she's going into the, the arc next time... Yeah, that could be a problem. Because she also has to clear her stress, which actually with Kane on board, she can do with any manoeuvre. But Except, of course, with the red one, of course. But um, I think her best manoeuvre at this point would be to then. ram the Falcon. Yeah, I'd, I'd, try and go yeah. For, I'd try and go for a bump on one of them. I Actually, actually, would you ram, bump the Falcon or bump um, the Ghost? Bump the Ghost. Because the Ghost is going to throw more dice at you. This is true. If anything, he's pr Davis might try and even get a Lando to proc by moving the ghost first and then Lando, meaning Lando might forgo his own action. Mm, hard to the, say. I mean, mm. the ghost does another one. Far away from each other. I think they are too far the away. Falcon from each other. comes round. I don't think he can miss, can he? No, I think at this point it would be Dave's best move would be a three bank with the ghost to try and get a bump, and then a one. Gentleish, something along those lines. Just to, if he can get that, get that bump, that will get a nice. Oh, goes. kill box. Yeah. Well, she's taking something from someone. 
There we go, is. there's the block. That's a one forward, she's going to hit it. Yeah, but she still gets her expertise. And if she wants forward, she again gets a shot at Lando and not get shot by the ghost. I actually think it's not too bad for her, even though she kind of wants to, to live. Because don't forget, he's missed his action on Lando. Yeah. There's a bump. Straight forward. All right. Right, again, so that works. One, again, it's one less shooting at her, isn't it? That works for her. Yeah, it's going to work well for her because she's not going to get attacked by the ghost. The uh, Lando has no actions and no ship, I'll point out. Um, <laughs> even though Ray's also been flying <laughs> with no ship for the last hour. There's Finn. And yeah, she's going to roll into it and hopefully roll something nice. Big swing. Range two. She might do this. Uh, oh, oh biggie. Crit, hit, focus, which of course you can convert into, uh, uh, thanks can to she make the four. Can she make it a full... She blind? can. She can, there we go. Well, he's taking a crit and if... Ew. Three hits and a crit, is it? He's going to get zero. Come on, roll one. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls one. He rolls one. <laughs> well, he got one at the very so, least. So, is that two hits and a crit? I believe that's two hits and a crit. Yep. Can't kill him, but... Uh, could blind him. This could blind him, yeah. Oh, he's had to spend the focus on that one. So he only takes two. Oh, no, he's no, got no, three. No, he's just turning to what, C3PO. What's over. that? Uh, Damn sensor ray, no actions anyway. Hmm. Terry's a... Terry, I don't, I don't know if it's uh, close. Yeah, I don't think that's a terrible one for the, for the Falcon. Terry said the game was a lot closer than it looks like it was going to be after the first pass. Maybe, but I still think it's... Oh, oh. just the one here. No, oh. uh, Terry, Terry's right. I, I think at the beginning we were all thinking it was going to be a short game, weren't we? Maybe. But um, I think that the dice have decided how this game was going to go more than anything else. She gets a reroll into Ray. A two focus results, which she has no focus to spend. That's always painful. <laughs> that is, yeah. So like, why didn't I focus? Because uh, right. she bumped. Oh, I think she just got Ray on board. No, she's got Ray on board. She is Ray. She is Ray. <laughs> oh, so, so, yeah, technically. Cloning machine. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's look at what PJ's been saying. Uh, anything above four hull? Any, uh, anything half? Anything five hull? Um, anything half hull? No half points. Anything under? Uh, though, about it caref- I thought about it carefully. Strikers, protectors, and are less than five. Y wing Skurg's K wings are five or more. When you've got ten HP small ships like Skurg or nine like Azatuk, but we have eight house, uh, eight large ships giving up like half, uh, half like IG it doesn't seem quite fair. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see the argument for that. Essentially, the, the IG is a big fighter. Essentially, the aggressor. Well, we seem to have a lot of debris knocking around um, Cloud City at the moment. Yeah. In the form of templates. Templates, <laughs> yeah. It's very messy. Uh, I mean, do you keep things very organised? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I, I have to. Do you ever watch my games? Uh, I've watched <laughs> plenty of them. <laughs> One forward... Which is, would is he going for? He's probably hoping there? to bump Ray. If she's K, but thing is, well, it depends, yeah, it depends. If the ghost is doing this, could go. Is the ghost very, stressed? Very Can it do well. a K? Uh, uh, the ghost is fine. The ghost is fine. Um, he didn't. He also tried to get rid of the damage sensor Ray, and he didn't. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, here we ooh, go. Yeah, yeah, flipping again. Um, I imagine that's what you want. Someone wants Chelsea's Falcon to bump and shoot it. I mean, it's not a bad call to do the K, really. Um, he can catch Ray if Ray's not going fast enough. Didn't we say... Doesn't he got a way of getting rid of that stress so he can action? Yeah, um, Lando, in a way. You have, to, you have to do Lando before you give the action. Unfortunately, he missed the Lando proc, I believe. Oh, no, he used... He, used ah. The, ah, he got a target lock with Lando. Exactly what yeah. I said. Got a target lock. He's got Ray on board, so he'll, give, he'll get focus from Ray. At this point, Chelsea needs... To, oh, no. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, David read that one well there. But then again, it means she's not getting shot at by Lando. She can shoot the ghost. And we are possibly... And in the arc, it's close. Oh, Lando finally removes... Proc's wingman and loses <laughs> the ghost stress. stress. Mm. Well, that's actually quite useful, actually. Now the ghost is free to do whatever it wants next turn. Assuming there is another turn. Unlikely. And the ghost looking at range two onto there. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. So, Ray's going to get at least four dice at the ghost, which won't kill it, but it will at least probably get half on the ghost. Could hurt it. 
Yeah. Enough points on both ships would be a good and result. It, I think, this is the point where Chelsea really wants a blinded pilot crap. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why she set the crit right. on onto uh, Finn. It's not a crit hit you get. You get a blank, but it's, it's a dice. So really, going to be right anyway. But yeah, she's she's hoping because she's rolling that dice. She's rolling those dice quite a lot. And you're warming them up. Crit, good. Focus, hit, full house because it's a blank. So they're full house. Um, and yes, they're all. Ooh, so yeah, this yep, is going to be a painful shot, isn't it? Expertise and a one crit in there. Nothing to roll. So there goes. A lot of damage onto the ghost in one foul swing. Can she pull it back? She might Can do. Can she pull this back? Oh, it, oh! it's a direct hit. Direct hit. Direct yes, hit. she can pull this back. <laughs> she can try and pull it back. I mean, she, she got to survive this hit, but she might be able to do it. Uh, she's managed <laughs> half points on both of them now. So um, I didn't see David put a focus there. on that ship. What, on, um, on the ghost? Mm. Yes. Does he have any? True. True. Or is a focus token down the bottom? Is that a focus from the I think that's a discarded focus because he uses right. the wooden ones. So his his stupid MDF ones, which, which <laughs> you can't tell whether what it is. Oh, oh dear. dear. Okay, so that's, that's it. That could be all she wrote if Ray rolls nothing. I think Chelsea is saying that you might be on the you might be on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we haven't seen dice being thrown at each other yet. <laughs> that's the point yeah, where I do have says. to. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the, that's the point where I will have to intervene. Okay, she gets defended twice from Finn. Oh, well, she gets to reroll both. Yeah, right. Both yeah, of them. One. one. Oh, is that, that's a focus. She can't do it. She's lost. Kaput. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. It was that's... so close to pulling it back as well. I seriously thought that maybe, just possibly, she might do it. Because, I mean, to be fair. Yeah, it was down to the dice. She essentially soloed the game with just Ray. Yeah, she she mm. gave both them ships bloody noses there, didn't she? Yeah. I think it wouldn't It wouldn't have hurt David so much if he hadn't have flown her out. Both Lando out of the engagement and Hera out of the engagement. At different times. Different times, yep. yeah. GG. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, that was actually quite close. Fairly entertaining as well. Um, and of course we finished about 15, minute, 15 minutes earlier. So actually cool. on time since we started late. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. Oh, it all worked out in the end. Right, I shall go and grab... Um, Mr. Farnden. Mr. Farnden. Yes, um, yes. You can watch him take my tankard away from me. <laughs> Oh. Enjoy your last drink from that, sir. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Who knows? It, you, you might pull this one off. Well, how to do it? That's the question. We're looking at three harpoons on PS9s against PS7 and 8 with not a huge amount of defence. Yeah, the fact that he can reposition and get your target, get his target locks and know where you yeah. are. Yeah. That's going to be painful. I'd be surprised if one of your ships isn't dead. Second turn. And the, I've played him with his alph alphas before, uh, three times at UK's at UK teams. Um, just what was it no, the 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 UK singles a um, little while ago? Europeans or European? It might be Europeans. Yeah. Um, and he beat me every time, but it was a close run thing on each one. It was always Vader and Dash left at the end of it, Ooh. duking it out for about an hour. Um, <laughs> So he knows how I he knows I know how to get around the ships, but there's only very few ways to do it. Maybe three different ways of doing it. Mm. If he picks the right one that I choose at the time, then it could be a very quick game. And he knows you. Yeah, that's the thing. He knows how you fly, what to expect. Yep, yep. I know what to expect from him as well. <laughs> he ha he has three manoeuvres. One, he'll go at an angle at the top, and wait to come round and then charge in. If I can get in close and then hit them at that point, um, they might be able to fire their missiles and might be able to take one off the board because I do have bombs. Okay. Disabled bombs, mostly. The other way is to draw them out, spread them out, and get them to come around the rocks at different angles mm -hmm. and only take one missile at a time. Yeah, because you still have um, advanced sense, uh, not advanced, advanced slam on Miranda, mm. don't you? Yes. Uh, because you have to stick with the same tankard list. Yes. So you're you're suffering there with the FAQ yeah, drop. Yeah, it does, does a bit less than it used to do, doesn't yeah. it? But, yeah. you know, it's hope I won't be relying on the bombs, put it that way. Yeah, you're relying on more manoeuvres and yeah. at manoeuvring him more than anything else. Now, he's got Quick Draw, Vader, and one other that I can't... Oh, um, Inquisitor. Nice that's, selection. That's what you're taking. 
obviously Inquisitor being the quick cheap one but the Inquisitor's a nightmare to get rid of he's a sniper you yeah, keep yeah. him at long range yeah. yeah it doesn't really work because he's a sniper as well yeah I'm a sniper he's a sniper well that, yeah that's true actually yeah, yeah. have they all got harpoons then they all have harpoons have they all got the points for all their bits and the auto thrusters yeah I mean you're not a formation flyer so that probably is going to benefit you in some regard yeah but... I think he's taking the harpoons for later games once he's um, removed me from the picture yeah so well, I, I wish you luck. Thank you very much. Uh, and also, thank you for joining me, uh, Sean. I think it's David in here. I'm not sure who he's got for a co, but I think I might be setting out this one and joining him as an, uh, again, just because I just don't feel like playing tonight. So, uh, hey, fair enough. here he is. Speaking Hello. of the devil, he comes in right now. I shall vocate a seat for you. Yes, we, the game started late. We have to start a bit early. Who's your co? Um, well, actually, do the uh, Chelsea, you were going to join me, actually, weren't you? Actually, for the thing about it. Yes. Okay. I will, um, I'll, I'll join you then. Okay. I'll join Poor you. little hawk. I, 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 I feel bad now. Painted. Please take your seats. I was going to say, Chelsea, you want to quickly move some of the stuff off the stage? There 